Welcome to all the men and women of the West. Welcome to the channel. I'm Joe. This is my first time playing Watro. And lately I've been at the start of these videos and occasionally throughout them discussing other channels just to, I don't know, just for fun to support them and show you guys some of my favorite channels. Today it's Dragonlance Saga, uh, run by Adam. He's a great guy. As you can see, I've done actually two live streams with him. One of this one also included Dragonlance Nexus and Just Good Enough, both really superb channels. I recommend you check them out as well. Uh, maybe I'll try promoting them, one of them next time. Yeah, I should do that. Anyways, we just simply did a hangout. We had fun. It was, yeah, it was just fun. <laughs> um, as you can see, he tends to touch upon various uh, material and content from, I'm just looking this up, uh, from Dragonlance. Primarily he's a lore channel and he checks out other stuff like the foods of this fantasy, of this fantasy universe, the poetry, the songs. He's got some great music videos of bands and whatnot that he's hired to do the music of Dragonlance. It's really quite interesting. And Adam's a guy who knows a great chunk of the mythos pretty much by heart. Oh, shoot. So that it's always a f great time to check out his channel and hang out with him. Honestly, oops, train battle. Ah, oh, shoot. Of course I screwed up. It's always a great deal of fun to check out his channel and just look up Dragonlance stuff if you enjoy it. It's a universe which has a, a great deal of to offer, just like Lord of the Rings. And where I do love Lord of the Rings, because I'm big fanboy of 19th century lit and whatnot, and I really enjoy that older style that Tolkien brings to fantasy, or I should say mythology, as no one really quite does what... No one writes like J.R.R. Tolkien. That's a fact. But Dragonlance touches on things like war trauma, um, family dramas, and they've got characters that honestly are at times almost as complex as some of Tolkien's characters, such as, um, well, the most noteworthy is Raceland who's probably about as complex as Feanor is. And, except where Feanor almost always made the wrong choice at every turn. Raceland occasionally does make the right choice. And this continuous battle between doing the right thing or doing the wrong thing and this constant test between these two sides of the character is really fascinating to see. Um, then you have the you have the character of Huma who's a lot like Fingolfin in some ways just in that he always does the right thing. And although like Fingolfin, Huma does have a struggle 
with it. And that's the thing. Dragonlance, though, um, is probably, in some ways, after Tolkien and Howard, it's the only fantasy universe that seems to ever really touch upon the smaller scale, more personal dramas and tragedies that surround um, individuals. It Don't get me wrong, it does have the epic fantasy adventures and action and whatnot and romance, but there's also the these little moments. I really like um, Proper Tribute, a short story of Dragonlance. This is from Dragons of War, which details a dragon and a dragon rider who just detest each other, so it seems. They are always arguing, and they can't quite get along, but then when one of them dies, the other one is completely traumatized. Because deep down, they did care. They were just kind of like brothers, and this is something that I really, really enjoyed. And the idea of the bond between siblings and family is in particular important in Dragonlance. And it's actually at the heart of the mythos. And this is where I really appreciate Dragonlance Saga for um, doing a lot of the lore a la Yoisna, I guess you could say except for Dragonlance. And that's where, although Adam has his own kind of touch and point of view on things, you do know where he stands on uh, things in the literature, and I don't always agree with him, but he's always very generous and very um, kind about it and whatnot. Shoot, sorry, I was just stuttering because I couldn't quite figure out why my character froze. But it it makes for an interesting um, it makes things quite interesting to see someone else's point of view and to go, oh, so that's where that's kind of where he's coming from on this literature. Okay. At least that's how I think. And he approaches it in a very intelligent, practical manner. Although, yesterday's live stream I flubbed up at one point, and I, w I had such a headache that I ended up mentioning. I knew it was a, it was a gold dragon in the tea that was seen, but I said a black dragon, and I, I meant to say gold, and I was thinking. Yeah, it's a gold dragon, but it's an omen of what's to come with Tachesis. But I said black dragon, and oh man, I don't, I think I'm the only one who flubbed up like that. But at the same time, it was pretty funny, and they gave me a good ribbing, and I enjoyed it. Like, it was a great live stream, and, um, and that's the thing, like, um, most of us over who went over to his channel all had a great time and I I guess I just wish that Adam got kind of more views and whatnot because he does do um he does do a lot of good work he works hard on his videos oh my gosh his intro though his intro and outro are just the best no like I really like the intro and outro of a lot of channels but no one does it like Adam does Adam's intro is just the best. I've never seen anyone do it like him. And it's got a great combination of music, of... Um, it, it's exactly the kind of uh, visual and audio that you'd expect from Dragonlance and whatnot. And that's something I really do appreciate. It's small touches like that. Now... I don't have the computer or the art skills to probably pull off So, Well, I can maybe do a bit of the animation, but I'm not very good at coloring, so it wouldn't be as good if I were to try. 
to do an intro like his. And what the hell? And so, yeah, like, highly recommend that channel. The, it's a very unique experience going into his videos. Especially since, like with Yoiston, you can see the enthusiasm he feels for uh, the content. Because as he put it, it's it's like crack for him. He, he can't stop wanting more. And he can never quite get enough of the channel. Not the channel, but the, uh, the literature. And for a lot of us who love Dragonlance, that's kind of how we feel. It's that... You know, like, as much... As I do love Tolkien, and I'm going to constantly be reading and rereading and rereading and rereading Lord of the Rings and the Selma really until I die, at each, like either one or the other, at least once a year, I can't imagine not reading every year or two Dragonlance also, because in particular the Urgoth, um, anything with. Sturm or Raislin, uh, the King Priest Trilogy, Legend of Huma. These are amongst my favorite books. So yeah, I highly recommend Dragonlance Saga. And that's... It's got a... Kryn has a feel like Middle-earth, but very different. It's all its own thing, but it's still... It still feels a bit like it, but in a good way. And it has its flaws, but it's also got its strengths. And it's... I broke the leg again. It's a little interesting to examine it. Um, the Conan and the Middle-Earth universes and just compare and contrast them. And I just find that better turn this down a little i just find that it's like reading all of them at the same time it just creates a different vibe and for each and you kind of appreciate each of them and it's fascinating to see where inspiration was drawn from tolkien or from howard and whatnot so that Definitely equipping that. So, yeah. I recommend the Dragonland Saga uh, channel and really recommend you guys go over there and subscribe. And if you've never read Dragonlance before, Adam does a great job of introducing it to, well, those who are just starting out. Um, and if you want to know where to, like, book reading order, because there's more than 200 novels or so. You know what? Just check out my Dragonlance reading order video and you'll be able to get started in no time. So, yeah. Smash that like and that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and also enjoy Dragonlance. Go check out our main channel. Go check out his channel. And just hope you all have a great day.